BJ Mafia was popping. Jags fans, the hottest topic going around in the Jaguars community is with free agent wide receiver Calvin Ridley. Now, while I have been pleased with the work that Trent Baalke has been doing through the first two days of free agency, I've already talked about that in some of my other videos. I will go ahead and link to that up above for you guys to check out. But Calvin Ridley, I think, is an absolute must get for the Jaguars in order to resign him. There's a lot of rumors and updates going on that I want to discuss with you guys here today talking about will the Jaguars be able to re-sign Calvin Ridley before I go ahead and dive deep into that and give you guys my opinion on it. If you guys appreciate the work and the content that I make here on YouTube covering the Jaguars, make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe bell to stay tuned for more Jaguars content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure you guys also go ahead and follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. I'm very active and I'm on there every single day. The link tree will be in the description down below so that you guys can go ahead and check that out. But let me stop wasting time. Let's actually go ahead and talk right into Calvin Ridley and get into these rumors and updates. Now, it is nearly 7 p.m. Tuesday, March 12th as I'm recording this video. So if anything has changed in that time from the time that you're seeing this video, I do apologize. Now, per Adam Schefter, earlier this afternoon, New England is pushing to sign free agent wide receiver Calvin Ridley, but sources believe that he currently prefers to return to Jacksonville and he has been discussing a deal with the Jaguars. Now, that deal is rumored to be around $20 million per year, which honestly, at this point, I would just fork out that money and I would just give it to Calvin Ridley if I could. Three years, $60 million, $45 million of a guarantee, just bring the guy back home. The guy clearly had a little bit of rust in his first season back to football. You could see that there was more chemistry and continuity throughout the season with Trevor Lawrence, and you could tell that he still has legitimate wide receiver one potential in him. Now look, he may not be a wide receiver one to you in your eyes with what we saw from him last season, but when you put together a core with Calvin Ridley, Gabe Davis, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, and Travis Etienne, that is a legitimate offensive skill position core that you can put around your franchise quarterback. And I promise you, you are going to see Calvin really flourish in year two with the Jaguars if we can get him retained with those other guys around him. But as of right now, that's all speculation. Now, here's where it gets tricky. The Jaguars, if they re-sign Calvin Ridley tomorrow evening, right? So Wednesday the 13th, after 4 p.m. Eastern, the Jaguars will keep their second round pick at 48 overall. But if the Jaguars re-sign him before 4 p.m. tomorrow, so less than 24 hours from now, that is going to be a second round pick, that conditional, that's going to be going to the Atlanta Falcons at 48 overall. Because if they sign him after 4 p.m. tomorrow, that's officially the start of the new league year. And that is going to be huge for the Jaguars in order to keep that pick. And the way that it's playing out as of right now, I do think that Calvin really wants to wait until past 4 p.m. tomorrow for the Jaguars in order to keep that pick where they can get a very high quality impact starter right away. And the Jaguars are going to be able to lock up Calvin Ridley for the foreseeable future. I think that's exactly where this is trending. But it's not as simple as that. If I'm going to give Calvin Ridley $20 million annually or give him that $60 million contract like I just alluded to, you're going to have to have the cap space for it. And right now, according to Spot Track, the Jaguars are negative $7 million in terms of cap space. So there's $7 million over their spending limit, which means you're going to have to make some roster cuts and some moves. I do think that the Jaguars are going to be moving on from both Zay Jones and Adam Gotsit. Cutting Adam Gotsit is going to save you $1.4 million on the cap, and then cutting Zay Jones is going to save you $4.1 million on the cap. You still have some more work to do. I do think that the Jaguars are going to end up trading Cam Robinson within the next couple of days in order to free up some cap space. That is going to save you $17.2 million in the cap. That's going to give you not only enough room for Calvin Ridley right now, but that's also going to give you enough room for the rookie class as well too because when you take a look at it from Calvin Ridley when you're going to give him that signing bonus and the proration over the length of his contract that's still going to give you that money left over for not only some cap space right now some flexibility but also for that potential rookie class now as much as I would love to keep Cam Robinson because at 29 years of age he is a legitimate starting left tackle and a very good left tackle and you feel safe about Trevor Lawrence's blind side but the Jaguars do have their options if they do want to trade or cut Cam Robinson which is going to save them that 17.2 million because they do have their insurance plan with Walker Little who we took in the second round a couple of seasons ago and has just been a swing tackle when he gets his reps when he is a starter he is a very good left tackle and now I don't think he's as good as Cam Robinson when he's out there but he is a very good uh left tackle that you can have out there and even if you wanted to get tricky 
You can move Anton Harrison to left tackle, who showed in his days at Oklahoma he could be a very good left tackle, and then you find someone to be your right tackle replacement maybe in the draft. I don't want to go too far into you know speculating about what the left tackle and right tackle position could look like. Nonetheless, I think the Jaguars are going to have to move on from Cam Robinson in order to make that cap situation work if they want to retain Calvin Ridley. But here is one thing. If you want to keep Cam Robinson, which honestly I would be in favor for this move instead, the Jaguars, what they could do, the Jaguars could go further and create additional cap space by conducting a maximum restructure. In a maximum restructure, a club will either extend the player's current contract or tack on void years at the end of the deal. And essentially what you're doing with Cam Robinson's contract is not only extending him potentially for a couple of seasons so that you can restructure that contract, push some of that salary over the next couple of seasons and open up the cap space, this season and then you have him locked up long term because i think cam robinson still got three four great years of left tackle football left in him if you know he continues to stay healthy i genuinely think that is the right thing to do because i don't want to lose cam robinson i think walker little is going to walk in free agency no pun intended and i genuinely think that cam robinson needs to remain the left tackle especially protecting trevor lawrence's blind side so that gives you a couple of different options. And really just getting back to the point with Calvin Ridley, I do think that the Jaguars are going to be able to retain him. And I do think that Calvin Ridley wants to continue to remain here. And I do believe that the Jaguars are going to have a legitimate core of Calvin Ridley, Gabe Davis, Christian Kirk, Evan Ingram, and Travis Etienne going into the draft. And then you could still possibly mess around at 17 and 48 and grab a Keon Coleman, a Brian Thomas Jr., Troy Franklin, Ricky Pearsall, whoever you want. Whatever sexy name you want out there that can help add to this roster and make it even better because you do need some young receivers because that is a very expensive wide receiver room. I do think that would be phenomenal for the Jaguars to go out there and to retain Calvin Ridley, keep their pick at number 48 overall, and I do think it's going to happen. This is all a prediction. Once I get some updates, I probably won't be able to get to it tomorrow because I do have to cover the Magic and Nets game tomorrow. I know a lot of you guys know that I covered the Orlando Magic, but... When I get to it and whenever we do get official news and I have some time, of course, I'll keep you guys as updated as possible. Jaguar fans, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you guys believe that the Jaguars are going to be able to retain Calvin Ridley tomorrow evening? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. But thank you guys again for sticking around throughout the whole video. Brett James, aka BJ, I'm out, y'all. And like always, let's go Jags.